Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the Top 5 Stories. At number one, the Federal Executive Council on Wednesday approved 95.98 billion naira for road project and 59.78 billion naira for the continuation of Ogoni cleanup exercise. The council also approved two major contracts for the construction of a center of excellence for environmental restoration, Wiyakara, in Kana Council of River State, and a 100-bed specialist hospital in Ogoni. Briefing State House correspondents, the Minister of Environment Mohamed Abdullahi said the projects for his ministry were aimed at facilitating efficient and cost-effective approaches to contamination management and environmental restoration while supporting the well-being and welfare of the people. At number two, the Department of State Security has raised an alarm that some saboteurs are pushing to force an interim government on the nation and by implication undermine civil rule. This is coming a few weeks after the presidential, national, governorship and state houses of assembly elections that are held to the emergence of elected representatives while legitations instituted by candidates who were not satisfied with the outcomes were still ongoing in the court. DSS, however, warned those involved in the alleged plot to detest from doing so or face the full wrath of the law. At number three, the United States has announced hikes in fees for certain non-immigrant visa application processing fees. The increment published in the Federal Register on March 28, 2023 will be effective from May 30, 2023. The U.S. government and the document said the fee for certain petition-based non-immigrant visas for temporary workers will increase from $190 to $205. Also, the fee for treaty trader, treaty investor and treaty applicants in a specialty occupation will increase from $205 to $315. Other consular fees are not affected by this rule, including the waiver of the two-year residency required fee for certain exchange visitors. And number four, the Human Rights Commission received 450 complaints of human rights violations during the general elections, its Executive Secretary Chief Tony Ojoku revealed. According to him, more 300 complaints of human rights violations were received during the presidential and National Assembly elections. 150 cases were recorded during the governorship and state houses of assembly elections. Ojoku stated this in an interview with journalist in Abuja during the launch of the e rights project of the Avocat Sans Fronteras France, also known as Lawyers Without Borders. At number five, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has joined several others in calling for the temporary halt of artificial intelligence experimentation. In a statement which was published via Future of Life Institute, Elion sounded a note of warning regarding the possible costs of the continued creation of AI systems with human competitive intelligence. The signatories raised the alarm that AI systems were currently poised to automate human jobs, flood information channels with untruth, and ultimately replace the human race. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.